Hello, I'm Unger to the Max, and I'd like to welcome you to another video. My real name, however, is actually Josh, and I'd like to tell you about a new path that I've started down. And this path is called the Sports Room. What is the Sports Room? Well, let me tell you. Every Friday morning, I send out a newsletter that gives a weekly overview of what took place in the sports world so that anybody can learn something new and be able to contribute to conversations or be able to enhance conversations. Whatever you want to do. So, these newsletters are broken down as such. I start off with what I call Fun Fact Friday. So that's some piece of trivia or some piece of information that gets you thinking right off the bat. Like, last week's trivia piece was on this date in sports history, it was October 16th, Travis Ishikawa of the San Francisco Giants hit a walk-off home run to send the San Francisco Giants to the World Series against the Kansas City Royals in 2014. This week's newsletter is going to feature the same thing. However, obviously, the trivia piece will be different. And this week's trivia will be that the Browns Old Stadium, Municipal Stadium, was, t excuse me, was uh, destroyed. And many pieces of steel are now in Lake Erie and being used as an artificial reef. First Energy Stadium is actually on the grounds where Cleveland, where the Browns' old stadium was. Um, yeah. And then, after that, I ask a question of the week. For example, last week's question was, if the Atlanta Braves were to advance to the World Series and win it, would discussions about their name and logo be enhanced or would they decrease? This was before I knew the Braves were going to blow a 3-1 to series lead against the Dodgers. But I guess that whole thing makes sense because they're from Atlanta. Um, so they're cursed with the Atlanta, Atlanta curse. Whatever you want to call it. And then, after that, I go in and break down what happened in different sports. Such as the NBA, NHL... MLB, NFL. So the big four, as well as NCAA football and NCAA basketball. But I also include other sports, such as the UFC, tennis, auto racing, Formula One, IndyCar, NASCAR. And this week, actually, I'm including PBA Bowling because on Saturday, somebody from Quebec, Canada... Bowl the perfect game of 300. Shout out to my friend Chris Link for providing me with this information. Um, so, you may have noticed that in the descriptions of my videos lately, I've been including links for the Facebook page for the sports room, the Instagram page for the sports room, and the sign up form for the sports room. I encourage you to click on those links and Get involved with the sports room. Subscribe and sign up for the newsletter. It's really simple. All you have to do is enter your email and your first and last name. And just give it a try. Receive it for two or three weeks and see if you like it. And if you do, stay subscribed. But if you don't, it's, it's your call. And we'll go from there. I'm hoping to somehow turn this into a self-sustaining business someday. So if you could help me out and help me achieve that dream, I would really appreciate it.